Okay, uh, Cowboys fans uh, and NFL fans, I don't really know what I'm going to say here, but I thought I'd make a video before the Cowboys game. It's 1.12 in the morning, Central Time, so uh, I can't sleep because I'm waiting on the Cowboys game tomorrow. But I think the Cowboys are going to win, and I think they should win by a good margin. One thing to look at is Ezekiel Elliott going to be rusty. We might not see a 100-yard game like we usually do. But the Giants don't have a very great defense. I mean, I don't know. But maybe we might see 80 yards instead of 100. But we'll see. I mean, uh, the Ezekiel Elliott deal, it should have got done a long time ago. You know, I thought that they were actually thinking about not paying him and just going with Pollard and trading him. You know, because you could have had a guy in Pollard. Looks like he may could have got at least three-fourths of Ezekiel Elliott's production. And we could have saved, like, you know, Pollard's only making 700000 We could, you know, 400 k something like that, 700 k We could save about $15 million and sign a bunch of veteran free agents or get some trades. But, I mean, if you're going to pay the guy... Make sure he's there for the beginning of training camp. So he's training, he's ready, he knows the plays. I mean, expect a Zico Elliott that doesn't know a few plays, you know. Expect a rusty Ezekiel Elliott. I don't care who you are. He might still be able to run the ball. I mean, that's one thing you don't forget. But as far as knowing the plays and where to block and what routes to run, you might not see Ezekiel Elliott a whole lot either. I mean, you might see him... You might see Pollard at least 20% of the time, you know. So, uh, which is going to make our offense predictable because if Elliott's in, you know he's running, you know, or I don't know. But anyways, though, so if it's some sort of difficult pass play, it's probably going to be Pollard, you know. But uh, anyways, though, so uh, uh, I just had to make this video. Uh, I'm sorry, Giants fans, if you think I'm overlooking your team. I mean, it's a division game, so it might be a little bit closer than people think, but I see us winning this game fairly fairly swiftly. I mean, not swiftly, but easily, you know. But uh, we'll see. I mean, watch out for injuries, you know. I mean, to me, that's the one thing that can really derail this Cowboys team is injuries, you know. Uh uh, you got Travis Frederick, he's doing all right, but you got Martin and Tyron with back issues. I heard a post and a group I'm in saying that uh, we should, should we trade Tyron Smith because he's getting older and he might get injured, but man, to save a bunch of money, but the offensive line is the motor of this team. The, the best unit on this entire team is the offensive line. You know, uh, I mean, without those guys, uh, tch, we're nothing, dude. I mean, people don't realize how important the offensive line is, you know. So, uh, the only thing, uh, the only thing I hope is that the Cowboys keep, whenever they need one, drafting a lineman in the first round in the future, you know, uh, because you just can't beat those first round draft pick linemen, you know. So, uh, but anyways, though, so uh, there we go. I mean, uh, I guess this is kind of a hype video. I guess, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, so uh, man, just I'm ready. You know, I I'm really curious to see how many yards Ezekiel Elliott's gonna get. You know. Uh, I want to see how good Dak Prescott is going to throw with this new receiving core. Hopefully, and I'm fairly sure he's going to do a lot better because he has a lot of different weapons. But we don't have Beasley, but Gallup has stepped up. To me, I'm not going to compare whether Cobb or Beasley's better. I don't really know. I thought Cobb was an outside guy. But then I was like, oh, yeah, he's only like 5'11". He's a slot receiver. But Gallup has stepped up and is looking really good, so... Should be a much improved receiving core. And then you've got Witten at tight end. I'm curious to see how much Witten will play. You know, because some people are just saying, we'll just keep him and he'll only play like four or five plays a game, you know, just 
on third down and stuff like that. That's not the truth, I don't think. He's going to start and be playing the entire game. I mean, there might be a few packages where we have different tight ends, but I would, would expect him to play at least 80% of the plays that have tight ends in. You know, so, uh, uh, anyways, though, so, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm trying not to make this video too long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it, and uh, we'll see the Cowboys tomorrow, and uh, so... There we go. Thank you very much. Bye.